Yo, 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 Maurice Bay here, Morris American National. Just wanted to drop this letter real quick. I want you to go check out this letter. The letter from George Washington, Washington to Mohammed Abin Abdullah, Sultan of Morocco, New York, City of New York, December the 1st, 1789. Got a little mock up on it, but like I said, I always highlight and I'm always, you know, and I'm, I'm always researching, so don't worry about that. The goal was to bring you the document. Um, you can get the document right here and read it for yourself. Real short document, nothing major, nothing long. All right, for the ones who know about this document, the same document. For the ones who know about this document, um, you already know what it means. You know what I mean? We talking about the Emperor Majesty. We need to ask ourselves a question: Who is the Emperor Majesty? All right. The United States of America. All right. Now, the United States of America is an entity. The Emperor Majesty is the emperor over the entire dominion, territory, providence, land, right? Everything. These are two different people, two different blood lineages talking in this letter. So the majesty is our quote unquote black Moorish American blood lineage family. And the United States is the European unions, society, state society that created the corporation, right? This is what this letter is about. This was in 1789, same time around the Constitution and the treaties. Um, this is before we was called black people. We were called Moors. This is our majesty, great king, great one that was in power at the time, the ruler of the entire land that was conquered. And the United States was a young nation hoping to be, uh, the United States of America was a young nation hoping to be prosperous in the future. And they had to come in on the agreement of the majesty to do commerce in the land. Throughout this letter, when you read this letter, you're gonna hear the expressions from one side to the other, all right? The United States didn't have anything. They had just went through war. All of this is in this letter. So go on uh, Google, type in the letter, read it for yourself, check it out. Um, this is a historical document. This is a part of our blood ancestor, the majesty, uh, which is the same bloodline as, as us, the black people. That's who you call. That's who. That's what you want to call them. Uh, that's what you want to call us. But, but those people are not black. Those people are not Negro. Those people are not colored people. Those people are barbers. Those people are Moors. Those people are a mixed breed of uh, Moabite. Uh, they are Moabite blood lineage and Canaanite uh, blood lineage as well. The Indians, the Puerto Ricans, the Latinos, all of that is family to the black, supposed to be black man here called black man here in America today. But the black man, like I said, he's not black. That is a reconstructed uh, uh, misnomer word uh, labeled on the people uh, as, 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 as misnomers to identify them when they, when these people who run this world over there in the United Nations, over there in all the high officials, in the Biden administration, all those people, the executive, the Congress, all those people know who these people really are and they refuse to tell the truth and create up all this, create up all this, uh, foolishness with the Civil Rights Act 
and all of that that really does have that doesn't have any prosperity in it to do anything for these people as a people right because they were never they were that's a benefit system for them and all the black leaders from your L Sharpton's and all those big boys up there that want to be big boys and Uncle Tom all of them know this information you know what I mean they all know this information and you know it's sad because the people continue to do less I mean less less better you know they're not doing good at all and these people know the truth and they refuse to, it's like somebody know you're gonna run into a brick wall but don't tell you there's a brick wall down you, you understand me so they know the truth about us they can go all the way back and find the genealogy and the blood lineage of, of every dinosaur on the planet but you mean to tell me you can't trace the black man back to where he originally come from and I'm here telling you right now, without a billion dollar budget, I'm telling you that your bloodline is Moorish American. You are a Moor. You are the children of the Moabites and the Canaanite blood lineage from the land of Canaan and the land of Moab that the, came over here with their, uh, with their brethren, with their uh, Moorite brethren. You understand me? And here it is. These people spend billions to try to figure out dinosaurs and all this stuff, and they can't tell the people the truth. And I just told you through this video, and this video is six, seven minutes. So check out the letter, and uh, you tell me if, you know, these are two different people. This is an empire, and this is a United States of America Corporation, Inc., who, who did a who did a LLC, uh, incorporation on the land of the emperor. This is what this letter is about. Go check it out for yourself, and that's what I see. That's what I understand. And that's what my consciousness and, 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 and you know and, and, and my common sense tells me tell me. So I'm a Reese Bay Morris American National and I'm out.